Okay, so in this video, um, I'm hoping to just give you a visual of the different terms you're studying regarding circles. Um, and then so in section 1.7, there's actually an investigation where you're defining the circle terms. So I just want to make sure you can see where they, um, what parts of the circle are each of these terms. So the radius, if I were to click on that, you can see the radius. And what the radius is, is this line segment that goes from the edge of the circle all the way to the center of the circle, which is actually halfway across the circle. If I were to show you the diameter, diameter is all the way across. Now, both the diameter and the radius could be turned in any direction. So in other words, if I were to move this this way, this is still the diameter. I can move it all the way around the circle and it's still the diameter because it goes from one edge to the other. And the same for the radius. Oops, I'll move this back up. For the radius, if I move it on the edge of the circle, it still goes through the center point and it still is always on the edge of the circle and it's still always halfway across, which is half the diameter. And so it's the radius no matter where it is on the edge of the circle. Okay. And this keeps sliding over. All right, so that's diameter and radius. In fact, I wanted just to overlap the radius on top of the diameter. You can see it truly is the same line, except that it's only just halfway across from the center point to the edge. All right, so I'm going to hide the radius and the diameter. Now let's talk about what a chord is. A chord, really, is just any line, line segment, where the endpoints lie on the circle. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily have to go to the center point. If I move this down here, this is still a chord. If I move it way up here, it's still a chord. Or even up here, it's a chord. It goes from one edge of the circle to the other, and it doesn't necessarily go through the center point, which is somewhere around here, let's say. Okay, now meanwhile, if this is a chord, then what's the difference between a chord and a secant? So let's show you what a secant is. A secant is a line. It's not a line segment, but a line that's going through the circle. Um, and this is, you know, I can move the points here, but you can see basically it still remains a line. I can do it on this side too. If I move it around the edge of the circle, it still remains a line going through the circle. It's just hitting at two different points on the circle. Okay. And then a tangent is yet another kind of a line. This line, though, is basically only, well, it's touching the circle at one point, although here it looks like it's more than one point. But if I were to zoom in, you can see it truly is only one point. Um, Whoops, if I were to try to, yeah, try to get the point. If I were to try to move this, do you see how the line still only touches the circle at one point, yet the line is outside the circle, unlike the secant. The secant went through the middle of the circle. Tangent line stays outside the circle, touches at one point, and just carries on its way, okay? So hopefully, uh, and then let me show you the difference between the center and the radius point that would be on the edge of the circle. But basically the center, no matter how big the circle is or small the circle is, it's always exactly in the middle of the circle. Okay. In fact, I don't think I need these other lines here right now. Let's just talk about um, hide the cord. Okay. So you can see that the circle can get bigger or smaller, but the center is always still in the middle of the circle. And this radius control point, as it's labeled here, is referring to the fact that if I were to take the edge of the circle and pull it out, it's not just this at this one point the circle moves out, but the entire circle must get bigger because the radius remains the same all the way around. So whether I go over, let's go smaller again. So whether I go from here, or over here somewhere, the distance between the edge of the circle and the center must remain the same all the way around the circle. Although it's hard for me to go around the circle without moving in and out. <laughs> okay. 
So that's a quick visual for the different terms of the circle that you're studying in lesson 1.7.